The problem's your tennis coaching. The problem's not the player. I just witnessed probably one of the worst tennis lessons I've seen in a long time. The lesson didn't get off to a great start with the coach greeting the player by saying, you've got a really bad attitude today. The player literally just walked on the tennis court and the coach is saying you've got a bad attitude. Now this player is about 10 years of age. She's probably had a late night. It's a Friday today. She's probably been training all week. It's school holiday. She might have played a tournament this week. But the coach doesn't take any of that into consideration and just declares that oh, you've got a bad attitude today. This was the early morning session as well. So the players were just getting, getting into the day. Not a great start. So I'm thinking, oh, that, 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 that's a tough start for the player. As a lesson player, and the player's completely switched off, the, play, the player's completely zoned out. It started at the very start of the session with the attitude comment. Imagine I walked onto your tennis court now and said, your attitude of coaching is not very good. You're going to be ultimately defensive straight away. You're going to be annoyed. You're going to be upset. You're going to be wound up. And then if I then continue to give you some feedback on your coaching, the problem of your coaching is your communication. The problem of your coaching is your demonstration. The problem of your coaching is your feeding or your practice design. You're not going to listen to me because you've already switched off because of the negativity that, I, that I've started the session with. The problem was the coach. The coach was the main problem. Just his negativity, the way he was giving feedback, it wasn't a great start. It didn't get any better. And then towards the end of the session, the coach throws his racket down on the floor and shouts, I've told you 50 times how to do this and you're not listening to me. I'm working really hard to get my message across and you're not listening. At this point, I felt like saying to the coach, it's actually you. That's the issue. It's not the player. You've tried 50 unsuccessful times to get your message across and the player's not listening to you. Why? That's not the, that's not the player's fault. That's on you as a coach. You haven't got your message across in a way that the player can understand or, the, or that motivates the player. And it started off at the start of the session. Why not start the session off with energy? Hi, nice to see you. How's it going? Really excited to see you. Can't wait to do some work with you today. Make the player feel a little bit of value. Then maybe take an interest in the player's week. How's your week been this week? Oh, I'm tired today, coach. I had a tournament yesterday. I had a late night last night. Didn't sleep very well last night. And then have some empathy. Take your position as a coach to understand how the player may be feeling at that moment. They may have had a massive argument with mum or dad in the car on the way. So they're not in the right frame yet to listen, to learn, to take on feedback. Your job as a coach is to read the body language and the understanding of the player. Not to hammer them as soon as they walk on the court. It's just, it just poor coaching. And then as the lesson goes on, the player's not engaged. Again, I would go back to that comment at the start. The, the, the coach has set that environment. The coach has set that culture. And because they've set such a negative culture, sorry, because they've set such a negative culture, the players just completely gone into their shell. So any feedback, any comments are just being taken negatively. And the hardest part of this is the parents sitting there watching it. The parents sitting there letting this go on. If that was my child, I would have taken him off court and went home. Not because of the child's attitude, allegedly, or the child's inability to keep the ball in play. Because of the coach. Why would I subject my daughter or my son to that type of feedback? Such a negative energy. And tennis coaches think they can get away with it because they're full of ego and it's, oh, I'm an expert. I know what to do. The girl's hitting the ball better than the coach. Yet the coach felt that he could have the audacity and the authority to tell her that she wasn't playing. Well, she's playing better than, than the coach. And it's just, it gives tennis coaching a bad name. It's it really wound me up. I don't normally do these like daily vlogs or, or improv videos, but it's really wound me up. And I would have said something, if that was one of my coaches and my team, I would have said something. If, if it would have been my club, I would have said something. But it's not my place. I'm just, I'm just a coach uh, or a coach educator who's accessing the centre. It's not my place. It's, it's, it's not my place to say. Um, but that guy's got a head coach. That guy's got to look at himself in the mirror as a coach and think, have I done the best possible lesson there? What a waste of an hour. What a waste of money. Yeah, that lesson would have cost maybe 40, 50 quid. Um, player got nothing from it. The player just got a horrible negative experience. The coach got nothing from it. He was frustrated. He was annoyed. So he got a negative experience. 
I'm pretty sure mum would have blamed the player on the way home. Yeah, it would have been the player's fault for her bad attitude, which she didn't have, by the way, when she walked on. She just walked on like like it was like a half nine session, which it was, and it's a Friday. So there you go. A little bit of a different video for you today. Leave a comment down below. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, to me, it just doesn't sit right, there, right with me. How the coach fed back to the player. And I understand that coach, maybe he's trying to motivate her. He did a motivator. You could tell by her body language. She was completely distraught. She was unhappy. She wasn't she wasn't enjoying that lesson. To me, that's not motivation. Some players might like that tough love, as we used to call it. They might use it as a bit of fire to get in, sort of get them going. None of that today. There you go. Thanks so much. And I'll hopefully have a better story to tell you next time on a vlog on one of these daily vlogs.